Good morning, students. Today we are going to continue chapter eight in our story, Excalibur. Please open your storybook, page 33. Okay, please listen to me. The title of this chapter is Mordred. Let's see what's going to happen in this chapter. We have stopped in the last or at the last chapter that Arthur uh, kicked or uh, banished Lancelot out of the out of Camelot, and he didn't trust him anymore, and he thought that Lancelot is a traitor. Okay, let's see here what's going to happen after this. Guinevere couldn't believe what she heard when the king told her what Sir what Sir Gwen had seen. She insisted she had never ridden out to the forest without her husband. Lancelot has admitted to everything. He has been banished. He's lying. My lips have only touched one man's. And here he stands before me, willing to listen to a traitor rather than his own wife. But Sir Gwen said, Sir Gwen is a fool. Look into his eyes and you will see that he does not know the difference between the truth and fancy. Sir Gwen is fool. Look into his eyes and you will see he that he does not know the difference between truth and fancy. Call Lancelot here and we will settle this matter. Until then, I will see no one. With that, the queen left for her chambers. The king was alone thinking. When Merlin appeared, Merlin knew that Morgana Le Fay had caused this trouble. But he also knew Arthur had made a great mistake. Not asking whenever what had happened showed a lack of faith. Sending Lancelot away would cause disharmony in the kingdom and throughout the land. Merlin told Arthur to call the knights to the round table so he could speak to them. When the knights were seated around King Arthur, Merlin stopped at Lancelot's empty, empty seat. The circle has been broken. Evil, whatever it causes, has touched one man. Therefore, it touched you all. I have seen the future. England will once again be at war. There is a truth which which must be discovered before the country can be united. It's your duty to find this truth. Merlin rolled his crystal ball across the table. Gradually, it became a ball of blinding light until it stopped in the center of the table. Inside the light, a golden cup with a long thin stem appeared. Observe it, all of you. It's the holy grail and hold the secrets of truth and justice. Find it and peace will return to England. Thunder shook the walls of the castle, and it began to rain, to rain. Merlin and the grail had disappeared. It became dark. Arthur ordered his men to search for the grail, which would gain, again unite England. He felt the absence of Lancelot as he sat next to his empty seat and he too left the round table.
Merlin believed he had made a mistake by showing Morgana the weakness of humans. He returned to Avalon to see if he was right. Morgana was training a small boy to fight like a warrior. She had stolen him as a newborn child to raise him as the new leader of England, who would carry out her wishes. Morgana, you have disappointed, disapp disobeyed me. It must stop. Stop? But do you, do, do you not see this son of mine, Mordred? He will one day rule with a power you have never imagined. Merlin raised his hand to destroy what he had helped create, create in Morgana, but she turned herself into a mirror and his spell was reflected back on him, banishing him from the earth forever. Morgana turned back into the woman she was and looked at her stolen child. Mordred, now nothing will come between you and the throne. So this is the end of the chapter here. Let's see here. How can we, or let's see the questions here. Let's start with the first page or page 33. Here, when I ask you, Guinevere, does the, the king here in the beginning of the chapter, does he think, does he trust Guinevere? Do he see her as a traitor or uh, someone that he didn't trust or he made a bad thing? Of course, yes, because she, he thought that she, what cheated on him. She cheated on him and he didn't trust her anymore. And here we have also, she tried, she thought that Sir Gwen and also Lancelot, they were lying because nothing happened. She didn't went to the forest. She didn't ride to the forest. And she told him that if she wants to go to the forest, she will go with, with, with him, not without him. Okay. So here she, she said these words and it can be a comment. Okay, when I say, Sir Gwen is a fool, look into his eyes and you will see that he does not know the difference between truth and fancy. Here in these two lines, when I, sell, when I tell you, comment, tell me who said it and said it to whom and when did it was, when was it said and why was it said? So here, these words were said by Lady Guinevere or Queen Guinevere. And she said these words to her husband, King Arthur, when he accused her of cheating, okay? And when he told, told, and he told her that she cheated him, okay? She was not honest anymore. She was not a trusted wife anymore, okay? So you have to under or uh, highlight these two lines, these quotation, you have to highlight it. The, these two lines, I will read them again. Sir Gwen is a fool. Look into his heart, into his, into his eyes, and you will see that he does not know the difference between truth and fancy. Okay. Then we have here in the next paragraph, when Merlin, when the king invited the knights of the round table and he wanted to think with them, he wants to, to see how is going, what's going to happen after this, okay? So here, let's see, what did Merlin do? And what did he tell them, okay? And how this situation, okay, is going to affect England. Here, when he said, Merlin knew that Morgana was the one who caused all these troubles. Morgana was the one that took place or the one that disguised in uh, Lady Guinevere and she went to the forest and tried to make this bad plot, 
Okay. So here, not asking Morgan, uh, highlight the, uh, the fourth line, the fourth line. Not asking whenever what had happened, showed lake of faith. What does it mean, the word lake of faith here? It means that, that there is no faith now. Arthur started to believe that no one is trusted. There is no faith. He can't trust anyone anymore. Okay. He sending and he continued Merlin by saying that sending Lancelot away could, could cause disharmony in the kingdom. Disharmony means disturbance. His, the kingdom will not be safe anymore and there is going to be more troubles more problems okay disharmony there's not a, there's no order it's going to be all the things disordered okay so he's got he said that sending Lancelot away by meaning that banishing Lancelot away the harm is, is the harmony in the kingdom is going to be also disappeared there is no harmony, harmony in the kingdom anymore, okay? Merlin told Arthur to call the knights to the round table so he could speak to them. So when Merlin or when Arthur asked the knights to come to the round table, what did Merlin told them? We will find that in the last three lines in the chapter, the last three lines, these words, were said by Merlin to the knights of the round table. What did he told he told them? The circle has been has been broken. Evil, whatever it could, whatever its cause, he doesn't. And evil is here. No, uh, nothing. We are not going to see uh, why is evil here. It's not important anymore. But now we have evil. We have to concentrate. We have to be pay, to be uh, to pay attention for this evil, and we have to remove it or to destroy this evil to get it out of our kingdom. Okay. So he told them whatever its cause has touched one man, the evil touched one man, and here he means the the man that he's standing uh, in his seat, Lancelot. The evil touched one man, therefore it touches you all. The evil touches you all. I have seen the future. England will once again be at war. Here he says that England is going to be in, at war again. That uh, peace is not going to be there anymore. There is no peace. War, war is going to be because of what happened to Lancelot and what happened to Lady Guinevere. So peace is gone. The peace has gone now, okay? And now they are going to be faced by war. In page 35, we will continue the quotation. Merlin continued and said that there is a truth which must be discovered before the country can be united. It's your duty to find this truth. So now he told the knights that their duty now is to find the truth. They have to find why this all bad things happened, okay? So he put this on the knights. You have, this is your duty. He told them this is your duty now. You have to find the truth. The truth will, bring peace again everything will be clear again okay then we have the paragraph that starts with merlin merlin rolled his crystal ball gradually okay he bring or he took out his crystal ball and he like what rolled it okay in front of the knights and what happened when he rolled his crystal ball inside the ball? I want you to highlight this words. Inside the light, inside the light, a golden cup with a long thin stem appeared. 
a golden cup with a long, with a long, thin stem appeared. So please highlight these words, okay? Observe it all of you. Again, highlight these words, the words that were said by uh, said by Merlin to the knights. It is the Holy Grail. Please highlight these words. It is the Holy Grail and hold the secrets of truth and justice. Find it and peace will return to England. So again, when I ask you, who said these words? It's the Holy Grail and holds the, the secrets of truth and justice. Find it and peace will return to England. Of course, these words were said by Merlin to the Knights of the Round Table when he told them that he ha they had to, they had to find the truth. They had to find the truth. Okay, and he showed them that the truth will help them to get back their peace. Let's skip or hear in the next paragraph that, uh, that started with thunder shoe, the walls of the castle. In this paragraph, we see that after the words or after Merlin had spoken to the, uh, the knights, he disappeared and he took with the grail. Okay, and uh, when it became dark, the atmosphere was not happy or good anymore, it became dark. Arthur ordered his men to search for the grail. He wants his men, his knights to find the grail, okay? Which would again unite England. He thought about England. He wants to unite England again. He doesn't like to be in war. He started his life and he wants to end the war. And now it's going to be returned. And he doesn't like that. So he wanted to stop it. He wants peace. He felt the absence of Lancelot as he sat next to his empty seat. When he sat next to Lancelot's seat or chair here, he felt that he he's what that the absence of Lancelot made him not good. And he too left the round table and he left the round table. Merlin believed he had made a mistake by showing Morgana the weakness of humans. So can I ask you here, what was Merlin's mistake in this chapter? Or what, according to Merlin, what was his mistake? Of course, the answer that he told Morgana or he showed Morgana the weakness of humans. So again, when I ask you, what was Merlin's mistake? You can answer, Merlin's mistake when was that he showed Morgana the weakness of humans. What did Merlin do after this? When he recognized or when he knew, knew that he made a mistake, what did he do? The answer, he went to Avalon Island. He went to see Morgana. He went to Avalon Island to see Morgana. And what did he find there in the island? When he went to Morgana, what did he find? He found that Morgana was training a small boy to fight like a warrior. He found that Morgana was training and she was training. She kidnapped a boy a little boy or a newborn child, and she raised him, okay? She raised him as her son, and she's training him to fight like a warrior, okay? Like a warrior. She had stolen him as a newborn child to raise him as the new leader of England. So why Morgana is training this young boy, uh, this young boy? or the new born child? Why did Morgana raise him? And why did Morgana stole him this newborn child? These are two questions here. When I ask you, why was Morgana training a small boy to fight like a warrior? 
or another question or another question with the same answer when I ask you why had Morgana stolen this and uh, this newborn child why she is raising him the answer because she wants him or she's raising him as what as the new leader of England who would carry out her wishes so the answer is here she is she is raising the child in order to be the new leader of England and she wanted him to what to carry out to fulfill okay to obey or to make her wishes come true okay Morgana you have disobeyed me it must stop stop but you but do you not see this son of mine murdered he will one day rule with the power you have never imagined Merlin raised his hand to destroy what he had helped create in Morgana. But she turned, and here, please highlight these two, were, these two lines. She turned herself into a mirror, and his spell was reflected back on him, banishing him from the earth forever. So when I ask you, what did Morgana do to Merlin? You can say that she turned it or she reflected his spell back on him and banished him from the earth forever. Morgana turned it back into the woman she was and looked at her stolen child, murdered. Now nothing will come between you and the throne. Okay, so here let's see the questions in chapter eight in our sheets, okay? The first question, why did Guinevere call Sir Gwen a fool? So here, why did Guinevere call Sir Gwen a fool? Because, or because he does not know, or he didn't know the difference between truth and fancy, okay? The answer for number one, because, he didn't know the difference between truth and fancy, okay? Number two, what was inside the life that was stopped in the center of the table? What was inside the light? Here in page 35, in the paragraph that started with Merlin rolled his crystal ball, we will find the, in the third line, we have inside the light a golden cup with a long thin stem appeared. This is the answer of number two. I will read it again. Inside the light, a golden cup with a long thin stem appeared. Here in number three, what was the holy grail? Number three, what was the holy grail? Okay, the, the, the paragraph that starts with observe, the quotation that starts with observe it, all of you, page 35. Here is the answer for number three. It's the holy grail and holds the secrets of truth and justice. Find it and peace will return to England. So this is the answer for number three. I will read it again. It's the holy grail and hold the secrets of truth and justice. Find it, peace will return to England. Number four, what would happen when they find the holy grail? So here, okay, number four, what will happen? What will happen when they find the grail? It will, or peace, will return to England. Peace will return to England. So you can write in number three, number three again, what was the Holy Grail? You can write, it holds the secrets of truth and justice. This is number three. It holds the secrets of truth and justice. And number four, P 
Peace will return to England. Peace will return to England. This is number four. Number five. What was Morgana doing when Merlin came to her? What was Morgana doing? She was, you can write the answer. She was training a small boy to fight like a warrior. She was, or Morgana was, training a small boy to fight like a warrior. This is number five. Let's see here, number six complete. Not asking whenever what had happened showed here. Here we have, or the answer is going to be Here in page 33, the paragraph, the last of the, the, uh, the highlight words here, not asking whenever what had happened, showed. After showed, we can write a lake of faith. A lake of faith. This is number six. Again, number six, not asking whenever what had happened, showed the answer. A lake of faith, a lake of faith, okay? Number seven, sending Lancelot away would cause, sending Lancelot away would cause. The answer, we are, or we are going to continue by writing disharmony in the kingdom and throughout the land. Disharmony in the kingdom and throughout the land. Number eight, there is a truth which must be discovered before the country can be, can be united. Here, at the end of page 33 and the beginning of page 34. We continue, or we are going to Hina, there is the truth which must be discovered before the country can be united. We will continue by saying, it is your duty to find this truth. So number eight, again, the answer, it is your duty to find this truth, okay? It is your duty to find this truth. This is the answer of number eight. Number nine, Morgana had stolen the, bo the small boy to raise him as Morgana, has stolen, has had stolen the small boy to raise him as a, as a, as the new leader of England who would carry out her wishes. This is the answer of number nine. Again, I will read number nine again with the answer. Morgana had stolen the small boy to raise, to raise him as the new leader of England, who would carry out her wishes. Number 10, Morgana turned herself into a mirror and Merlin's spell was reflected back on him. Again, number 10, I will read it. Morgana turned herself into a mirror. And Merlin's spell was reflected back on him. The answer, banishing him from the earth forever. This is the answer. Banishing him from the earth forever. So here, number 10 again, I will read it with its answer. Morgana turned herself into a mirror and Merlin's spell was reflected back on him, banishing him from the earth forever. So this is the end of our chapter, chapter eight, okay? I want you to memorize these questions very well. Read the chapter again, okay? And please, please try to memorize the word, uh, the, the questions 
without making any spelling mistakes. Okay. Thank you for listening me, for listening to me. Have a nice time and see you next time in chapter nine. Goodbye. Goodbye.